Guess what, guys? Y'all know your favorite coach back at it again. Boy, the last time I was on this thing, I was talking about the issue with FAMU as far as the donation that they got. I got a, I got a, a follow-up for that, so y'all make sure y'all come back for that as well. And also, Coach talked about the whole situation with uh, domestic violence and Cassie and a couple of these individuals that's out here speaking on this, that they pick and choose who they want to poke the bear at when it comes down to certain topics. Yeah, I had to go ahead and touch that because, you know what, if we're going to talk about it, let's talk about all of it and not some of it where we want to, you know, make sure we we grab everybody's attention as far as what's going on. You know, keep this thing the main thing and not just the thing that you want it to be when it's conducive for you to stick a microphone in your face and want to start just bluttering, blabbering, whatever it is that you want to blabber just for folks to say, ooh, ah. But no, we're going to go ahead and get into some football. Because you know what, fam, you was over there. They try to make some moves. I got to get Coach Cozy his credit because he's filling in those gaps that was generated when the former head football coach, Willie Simmons, left and moved on to Duke, as well as a lot of the players that decided they wanted to take their talents and jump into the transfer portal. Now, many of the fam, you Rattler fans over there was wondering exactly how would the 2023 SWAC slash HBCU National Champions will fare this upcoming season because they was wondering – one of the pieces going to come in is going to help them rebuild their program so that they can get out there and show these folks they are here and they are for real. Let's get into exactly what Coach Cozy just pulled off over the past couple of days. Because guys, I got to give him, got to give him a little round of applause for you know what he got going on. I, I like Coach over there, and he's swinging for the fences, making sure everybody understands that. Hey, listen, give me a chance. Let me get on in here and get some things shaking. But guys, we're going to talk about it right after this. Perfect Coach back at it again. Ten toes down. About to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Lee Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in and free to tell them to come on in. It's not but positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on in this thing. Because I'm like, Coach, what you got going on, man? Hey, right now, Coach is a happy dad. I'm on cloud nine. I got both of my, I got two out of the three that have graduated. One's graduated from high school. One's graduated from college. The other one is getting ready to become a junior in college. So I'm, hey. I'm on cloud nine. Everything is fine over here with your coach. You feel me? But we're going to go ahead and talk about what the national, the H, excuse me, the HBCU national champions got going on. You know, them swag champs, fam, you routers, you know, the highest of seven heels. You know, they love to tell everybody, everybody's always looking up at them on the highest of seven heels. I'm like, whoa, they bragging. Hey, they bragging over there. Hey, listen, I know they, they had a rough week last week, but it's cool. Coach got a follow up for that, but you know, hey, let, let's go ahead and give them, give these folks a round of applause for their head football coach getting out here and still making moves, getting individuals to come into the program that can be uh, serviceable to them as far as what they're looking to do this upcoming season, which is defend their national championship as well as their swag championship. But one thing I can say is this. Coach Cozy's been in stealth mode. He, he's not out here doing a whole bunch of rah-rah speeches. He's not out here, you know, trying to, hey, look at me. This, that, the third is going on. No, he's got, he has his head down. He's going to work. And he's looking to bring the, the, a few good men in there that want to be rattlers that will help them get the job done this upcoming season. And uh, like I stated before, defending that, that championship crown. Well, one thing I can say is, the opportunity always presents itself for athletes that come from bigger name programs when they want to come back and continue on playing collegiate football in a uh, FCS HBCU program. There's nothing wrong with that. And the one thing I got to give those young men credit, at least they did consider wanting to come play for HBCU because a lot of times when they go to other programs, they kind of get lost in the shuffle and people... Uh, they overlook them. But I begin, I, I honestly feel there's a lot of individuals out there that are beginning to see that they can fulfill their dreams coming through an HBCU program. So I hope to see a lot more of these athletes continue to want to become a part of an HBCU FCS football program and continue to keep building this thing to show everybody that there's competition over here. There's just not no lightweight type of thing that's going on. You know, just, you know, some re like some folks say retreads. Ain't no retreads over here. These athletes over here balling. Y'all better get over in this thing and understand what time it is. But right now, like I stated before, Family is looking to put that daggone roster together because they trying to get back to that what? 
number one spot. That's right. They want to make sure that they're able to defend that championship. And in order to do that, they must have them trenches in order. And I got to be honest with you, Coach Cozy, you know, he landed him a few athletes that's, you know, can get in them trenches and do some things. Uh, that can raise a little cane for the Rattlers this upcoming season, especially on that defensive front. But they got to put that work in. It's some work that they got to put into this thing to make sure that everything, you know, goes in the direction of that, that it needs to go. Like, what's the phrase? Everybody said ebbs and flows. You know, they got to make sure it flows properly so that they can get, you know, um, get things moving in the direction that they need to do. Because Fram, you did have some major exits happen on that defensive front. And I got to be honest with you. Uh, these young men here, they definitely going to have to come in and put in some work. One young man that Coach Cozy landed that's coming into the Family Rattlers football program this upcoming season, he's coming in from Kennesaw State University. He had his best season in his collegiate career on the, you know, on the gridiron last season, which and he played in eight games. He had 17 tackles, one and a half tackles for loss, one sack, and one quarterback hurry. Now, the young man named is Cameron Donald, who played for the, uh, he played high school football for Woodmont High School where he was a multiple sport athlete. The young man ran track, excuse me, he threw the discus in track and field as well as he wrestled as well and played football. Now, the one thing I like about this young man, he's considered to be a weak or strong side defensive tackle. Now, you can, and with that being said, you can also put this young man in at uh, nose guard and allow him to just be a gap stuffer to create havoc up there with his speed getting off the ball. Now, I believe this young man definitely has two years of eligibility left for him to play collegiate football. And I believe that he can break through the rotate, broke, excuse me, break into the rotation of the family Rattlers defensive lineman immediately if he continues to keep working and doing the things that he needs to do for Coach Cozy's uh, defensive front. Now, I'm not going to tell you no tales. Depending upon how this young man comes into camp, if he comes in in shape and ready to get after it, this young man could very well be a starter for the Family Rattlers defensive front this upcoming season. So we got to wait and see how that turns out as well. Next young man is coming to the program is from UNLV, Nick Demetrius. He has several years of eligibility left. He played high school football for Sarah Vista High School where he was recruited as a defensive lineman. Now, this young man uh, was recruited as one of the top defensive linemen out of California to UNLV, uh, which was one of the, he was considered one of the top recruits to the UNLV football program. Unfortunately, while at UNLV, Nick Demetrius didn't see the field, but he was on the scout team. So if you're on the scout team, you're out there putting in work, that lets me know that at least he understands the uh, dynamics of what will be required of, what will be required of him out there on the field as far as well as being able to do the things necessary that will help the family Rattlers have depth at the defensive end position as well as being able to get out there on the field and just do whatever, do what's required of him to possibly get himself in rotation to play for, to play on the field for the Rattlers this upcoming season. Um, I hope this young man is ready to come in, come into the, come into the program, ready to work and get after for the Rattlers this upcoming season. One thing for certain is this, and I stated it before, that Coach Cozy is building for the future while recruiting players to come in and play right now. They can contribute today. And we got to keep an eye out on some of these athletes that's coming in to see exactly how they're going to be able to get out there and produce for the Rattlers this upcoming season because you already know, as they love to say, they brag different over there. And with them bragging different, they want to make sure the athletes that's coming in there going to be able to do what needs to do so that they can show and prove to everybody that ain't nothing changed, just the head coach. And the head coach that they got right now will continue to keep leading them in the direction that they're looking to go, which is continuing to win more championships. But guys, coach going to go ahead and get up on out this thing. But until next time, be the one and lead.